In this video, we're going to take a look at how to prepare the valve cover gasket along the mating edge of the engine and its valve cover. Before you remove the valve cover, you're going to want to go to this video to see how to remove the intake plenium because it is highly required that you remove the intake plenium to get to the valve cover and its gasket. Before removing the valve cover, you want to investigate what solvent you're going to use for its cleaning processes. We're going to use kerosene to clean the heavy oil off of the valve cover plus the exterior. Our finalized cleaning will be with this caliper brake cleaner. And what we want to do is we want to make sure we spray this onto the valve cover exterior, making sure that the solvent does not react with the paint causing it to remove from the surface. We will leave that solvent on the valve cover until it dry itself off or evaporate. So brake cleaner is basically safe with this valve cover because it doesn't affect the paint. So we can see the fuel have basically evaporated and nothing has become of the valve cover surface. The paint is still stuck to it. Here I have a carb cleaner and this is a more aggregate cleaner than the brake cleaner. So we're also, sometimes people are going to want to use this and we're going to use it ourselves. So we're going to spray this on the surface again to make sure that the solvent does not remove the paint because you don't want to remove the paint from inside the valve cover because sometime when the engine is running that paint will end up in the engine oil and cause problem with the filter and the oil pump. Let's start our procedure by cleaning up the valve cover. Here I have the valve cover sitting in a plastic container for cleaning. And what you want to do is you want to put some degreaser into the valve cover like I already did and just let it sit for like maybe an hour or so so we could soak into the oil sludge. Then we're going to take a brush like this. You want to be careful with this plastic bristle because sometimes it's going to become active with the degreaser. All depends on what you use. So look out for if this degreaser should break apart the bristle. You just want to scrub up the inside here. trick I did is I block off this end so the fluid don't come pouring out. Just want to slush it back and forth. And what it's going to do is going to wash under this sump right here. Now let's remove the gasket. Now you can see this is a very stiff gasket. And the rubber has basically gotten dry rotted. It's pretty hard. So this is no good. What we want to do is we just want to make sure we clean up inside this groove. Very, very clean. Sometimes you're going to have to use a wire brush in here. I just want to make sure you do a very good job cleaning it up. So once you're completing brushing the inside, and outside of the valve cover, we're going to remove all our tools and cleaning equipment. And then we want to get something like this. This is a carb cleaner. This is very good for degreasing. So when you're doing this stuff, you're going to want to wear some form of glove so you don't get this on your hand, but you see this cleaner is taking out more of the grease. Here, 
gonna wipe it down. You wanna be careful. Make sure you don't use anything that's gonna lift the paint off the, the surface of the valve cover because the paint was gonna end up inside of the oil. So, soap and water is great for this, but if you're gonna use a flammable substance, make sure you dispose of that waste at a recycler. So now we're gonna put this to dry. We have to put this in the sun to dry. And when it's completely dry and oil free, we will be able to install our gasket. So let's take one last final thing in here. So this surface here must be oil free, no oil, it must be completely dry. So we're going to put it in the sun, we're going to move our catch can out of the way, we're going to leave it in the sun to dry. Here I have a complete gasket kit for the Nissan V6 engine. And here we have the two valve covers. These two valve covers are basically identical. So they could be used on both side gasket, left or right. So we're going to use one side here. These are the rest of the gasket for the engine, like the rain main seal, crankshaft front seal, camshaft seal, valve seal, this is the oil pan front and rear seal, this is the copper washer for the fuel lines, this is the upper intake plenium gasket, this is all the rubber o-ring to service the injectors, these are our two head gasket and the gasket gonna want to be placed like this, you want this edge here down on the bottom corner. So this side here will go on the left side cylinder head like this, and this side here will go like this on the right side cylinder head. Then we have our exhaust manifold, lower intake plenium to the cylinder head, thermostat, and then we have other various gasket here for the throttle body, EGR, and for the block. So let's go ahead and replace this valve cover gasket. Once we finish cleaning the valve cover and it's completely dry, you're gonna notice this little stain inside of the valve cover. Well, you could continue cleaning this stain out until you get it completely clean, clean, like a even color that you're looking for. But I don't recommend that you paint inside of this valve cover, whatever you do, because as time goes down the road, the paint will loose itself off the surface. So always do not paint inside the valve cover. If the paint seems to be coming off, it's time for you to get a new valve cover or have the complete inside of the valve cover sandblasted, thereby removing all the paint. And do not paint inside the valve cover. Here I have an RTV silicone sealer and I also have this yellow weather stripping glue. Now we could use both of these to install our gasket but since this valve cover has like a channel we're gonna use the either one the yellow glue or the silicone but I will most likely use the silicone in this channel and then we're gonna use the yellow glue on the other surface. So let's inject this glue and then we're going to fit our gasket. So the reason we're putting this silicone in here is so that once we put the gasket in, it's going to compress all the silicone into the crevices and this is going to prevent any oil from leaking in the event that oil should build up under the valve cover. Here I have the valve cover and what we want to do is we just want to spray it down to make sure we release all the oil flim from its surface. 
but before you spray down the whole gasket you just want to spray on the end to make sure that the solvent does not destroy the rubber so this is a brake cleaner caliper cleaner and this is pretty safe so we're gonna spray down the whole gasket as an effort to remove any oil from its surface once the oil is removed then the sealer is going to be able to stick to the material much better you don't really want to use a carb cleaner because this is going to activate the rubber to disintegrate itself so let's go put this valve cover gasket inside the valve cover we must pre-test fit our gasket before we can install it but I want you to pay close attention how I use the silicone around the bolt holes Once you have the gasket sit inside of the channel, you will then turn the valve cover over. Try to spread something on the floor so you don't have to work with the sand and the debris from the ground. But this floor is clean so I'm not concerned about the dirt. You just want to place it down like that and let it sit like that while we prepare the other surface. We must now get ready to prepare our mating service surface and we're going to use this yellow better stripping glue and as you can see on the back it shows for various applications so you can see it's confirmed it's for gasket use and always make sure when you're using um, sealer and adhesive make sure they're for automotive use because remember the automotive temperature changes so you want a chemical that will deal with the changes in the temperature. We're first going to try to clean the surface of the valve cover where it's seat with a razor blade. Now you must be careful with a razor blade and aluminum because most likely the razor blade will create scratches inside the surface of the aluminum so you can stay away from the razor blade and use a scotch brite this scotch brite pad and you could brush it down with some solvent and clean it. Now you could also clean up in here let all this stuff run back in the oil. Also pray, place a towel around your working area so this way the debris don't get in any, any other compartment and don't forget to close this up. But we're going to be removing this so you could go to this video here to see when we're going to be removing this. But now when we apply this adhesive we want to make sure when we put it on the surface it sticks to it. You don't want it to like gumming off right so once it sticks to the surface then you know you have an oil free surface once we have the weather stripping glue apply we will then go ahead and install our valve cover the way we remove it so you want to be quick with this glue because it has about a 10 minute to 15 minutes time for setting so we just want to move it around a little so it in sync itself with the adhesive then we're going to back all our screws out like this as an effort to give us an easy start. So the reason why I use the yellow adhesive on the bottom it's because it's a flat surface. And what I really want to accomplish is I want to glue the valve cover and its gasket at this lower portion so in the event oil should overfill under the, the valve cover it will not come seeping out because the gasket will be glued together like a fixed component. Once you finish installing the valve cover and getting ready to start the engine, you should now change the oil and add a can of one of this. It's called a motor flush. And what this is going to do, it's going to break up all the sludge and carbon under the valve cover and inside the engine where oil is circulated. This is an effort to help the oil under the valve cover 
return to the oil pan much faster by cleaning out its return passageway with this motor flush and you will read the instructions on the back on how to use it here I have the valve cover partially installed and before you install a valve cover or put the screws in before you even apply the gasket you want to make sure you blow out the bolt holes with this little nozzle right here you point it in the bolt hole and blow out the threads so you could clear out all the dirt and grease from inside the bolt hole so the threads are clear and easy for installation if you also notice the washers for the valve cover have been flipped backwards like this normally from the factory they come like this you see this rubber piece on the top will eventually crack and disappear from the metal washer as time go by so I do not advise that you tighten back the screw in this order instead flipping the washer around like this placing the rubber under so it's able to compress the valve cover against its mating surface if you install the screw like this it may be great but as time goes by this rubber will disintegrate and disappear from the washer and the screw will have less tension on the valve cover to hold it to its mating surface so after a hundred thousand miles you're gonna want to do that